Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, the workout today is an upper body work it circuit. We're focusing on all upper body muscles, but I am gonna throw a little bit of cardio in there just to kick the heart rates up. So this is a fun format, I enjoy it. Basically, we're going around our mat. At the top of my mat, I'll have 15 pound dumbbells, then five pound dumbbells, then a space. Then I'll go to eight pound dumbbells, 20 pound dumbbells, then a space. All right, if you lift what I lift normally, you can set your dumbbells out as such. But if you lift differently, then go ahead and adapt whatever weight that works best for you. I'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. And be sure to grab that variety of dumbbells. Again, basically, I'll just have them all down on the ground, but make sure that you don't trip on them, okay? Safety first. Your format will be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, and we're gonna repeat everything for three rounds. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a strength on my watch. The majority of this is strength. Let's warm things up here. Reach across. And here. Let's go into circles and tap. Switch directions. All right, front and back bends, knees are soft and you hinge. Push the hips forward gently. One more here. Nice, and we'll squat and reach right here. Last one here, and take it wide, and open in the chest. We'll stay wide and touch the toes. Reach that other arm up. Just a little stretch in the pec. Good, let's do some heel digs. Alternating sides and we sweep nice and low. Stretching hamstring and lower back. Two more here. Good, and some hip openers hopping around. Let's just do a little ball and socket warm up here as well. Arms out, reach behind your head and your back. Alternating here. Four more here for four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, are you ready to move daily? Set out your weights and here we go. Starting with those 15s, I'm gonna hit a reverse grip row into a palms facing row, all right, right here. Just alternating those two, hinge forward, pull it back, then facing, and retract the shoulder blades. Pull and 
pull. You can take a break halfway, which is right now, if you need to stretch that back. Very good. Moving into that lateral high salute with my fives. Out to the side and then up into that salute position and down, knees are soft. Of course, you can feel free to switch weights as we go through the circuits. If you're like, that was way too easy or way too hard then feel free to adapt, okay? This is your workout, you do it your way. Nice. Two jack, frog squat, modify right here, 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 all right. Otherwise we're jacking. Kick it up. Holding those eights for my front raise 180 turn. Starting with palms facing the ceiling. We're up, you'll turn, down, and turn. Stick your chest out. I'm taking it to the ground for that circle chest press with my 20s. Of course, you go lighter if you need. Circle chest press starts with palms facing your chin. Circle up to the ceiling. So we press and turn away, then bring it back down. If you're having trouble with this, just give me a straight chest press. Stay over the chest. And exhale as you press up. So, exhale, breathe in. Whenever it's the most challenging, that's when you breathe out or exhale. Let's set those down. Come to your cardio. Okay, cross and front jack. Reach up, tap, up, and tap. Here we go.
Round two, all right. Back to my reverse grip row, palms facing row. I'll stick with the 15s here. Palms are up, retract, turn, row, squeeze. Lighten it up a bit with those fives. Lateral to high front. A little harder to go into that higher salute position. You're fighting gravity a bit more. Two jack, two squat jacks. You're here if you don't need the break. Palms face the ceiling to start. Roll the shoulders back. Really engage the core here. my back for my circle chest press with those 20s. Okay, we start with palms facing the chin, turn away, and press over the chest. I touch the ground at the bottom, and I think about flexing the pecs at the top.
standing for cardio, cross in front. Again, low impact is that reach and tap, reach and tap. Let's go. Great, one more round. Hitting that row. And into the lateral front combo. You could move to eights here if you'd like. I'm gonna stick with the fives. These are soft. Moving into cardio. All right, keep going. Your front 180 raise. Palms are facing ceiling, knees are soft. All right, 
circle, chest. And press. Let's finish off with this cardio, okay? And a little break if you need. If not, just keep her going. Very good. All right, short little water break if you need. Check out the weights I'm using in the next circuit. We're gonna start down on the ground. I'm starting off with a tricep press overhead extension. Feel free to go lighter, tens, eights, fives, whatever you do. I'm gonna go with my 15s here. Palms facing. Press it to the ceiling first. So we go up. Back of the elbow, up and down to the ground. We're staying down here for that ab boat rocker. And I'm gonna use my five pound dumbbells and press to the ceiling. Mmm, that was work. Good, good. All right, grabbing fives. Both hands press up. Starting position is here. And we rock and sit and press. You're not bringing those legs up to 90, just to 45 degrees, okay? You wanna use those abs as well to help sit up, not just momentum. And last one here. Nice. Up for cardio. I'm gonna go into a sumo squat, twist, knee, all right? If you don't wanna do the twist, just stay here and pulse. Alternating sides, low, twist, knee, low, twist, knee. Definitely wanna pivot those feet, lift them up off the ground.
All right, sticking with triceps, I'm gonna do a single side overhead extension here. Flex at the top, even a little twist or culking of, cocking of the wrist is good. Right here, not culking. That's that white goo that you put in the bathtub. <laughs> cocking of the wrist. I'll call half, if that wasn't clear. Last one here, and switch your side. Flex. Grab 120 here for my one arm row, switching back to my original hand. Propping myself up here, but you could hold yourself up on something if you want. Nice flat back, and I'll call half again. We row and row. Good. One more here, switch your hand. Great, I'm getting 12 in a side there, that's perfect. Cardio here. We're gonna do a single, single, double butt kick right there. There's low impact. Let's work. Single, single, double here. Back to that tricep, press extension. I'll stick with 15s. Palms facing, press it up, back at the elbow, up and down. Okay, remember to stay down here and going into that double boat rocker press. Holding fives. Okay. <clears throat> You're here and we press.
Nice, up into cardio. Squat, lunge, knee drive, or squat pulse to mod. Wide stance, drop it here. Grabbing those eights. <sighs> Cross over, tricep extension. Arm is here, nice and tall, and we press. Last one here, good, switch. <laughs> Moving into your one arm row, the 20. For me, back to my other hand. I'm propping myself up here, super flat back. Drive the elbow. One more here and switch your side. Let's go into the butt kick, single double. All right, round three. Tricep press again. Palms are facing. Press it here and back. Try not to move this shoulder on the extension, okay? I see a lot of people letting that shoulder migrate. That's not what we're doing in this exercise. It is what we do when we hit the shallow overhead extension, but here it's one joint, just the elbow joint that's bending, okay?
Nice. Okay, it was fatiguing on the extension part. The press was fine, the extension was work. Let's do that full boat rocker press. Two fives, here we go. Good, into cardio. Wider stance, nice and wide so you have a good center of balance. Drop it low. Grabbing one eight here. Last one here, and switch. Move into that one arm row. Okay, I'm using that 20 again. <sighs> nice hinge at the waist, flat back, and we row. Switch your sides. Let's finish off with that. A butt cut, a butt kick, a butt kick. I don't know what I was gonna say. Butt kick, punch. All right, single double. Work hard here.
more circuit for you. Take a water break if you need, and join me back. You might need to lighten for this bicep. I typically will lift 15s when I'm doing certain bicep. We're gonna hit a hammer curl, boom, and then turn into a bicep curl. All right, one of each. Alternate, hammer, all the way down, turn. Bicep, all the way down, turn. Elbows in on both. Very good. I'm holding fives for that plie pulse lateral raise. You don't have to do the plie, you can just hit that lateral if you want. I'm gonna pulse it out here, and every other pulse, hit a lateral raise. So you're low and lift, low and lift, good. Love that. One, two, three, hop for your cardio. One, two, three, elbow to knee for low impact. Single double kick back with my eights. All right, hinge at the waist. Single side, single side, double kick back. You're here. Single, other side, single, now double. Great. And we're taking it down to the ground with those 20s. Wide turn, narrow chest press. All right, mm, start wide. Turn and face at the top. And press. Good, over the chest. Squeeze at the top.
All right, come to standing for your cardio. All right, we're gonna go into a center jack, side squat. There's your low impact and work. Back to the top. Bicep curls. Hammer and palms up. I'm trying to use very little momentum. Elbows are tucked in, dead stop at the bottom, then drive up. If you need to lighten, do it. Nice. All right, the pulse lateral combo. Shoulders back, drop it low and pulse. It was an inner thigh burner, wasn't it? Let's go into that one, two, three, hop. Kickbacks with my eight still. Single, single, double. All right, elbows high. And stick your chest out. Single, single, double here. Bring the baseline back around again.
nice. All right, let's take it to the ground. Wide, narrow presses. I'm holding 20s. All right, cardio. Whew. Getting sweaty here. Center jack, side squat. All right, one more round, folks. Almost there. And into that lateral raise. <clears throat> Wide stance. Eliminate the plie if you need. Does kick the heart rate up though. Up and here and here. But you may have done legs yesterday, in which case they're dead. <laughs> Who knows? One, two, three, hop. Guess I don't need those any longer. Or those. All right, one, two, three, hop. Get low.
Okay. Kick back. Single double with my eights here. Core engaged and we hinge. Single here. Single double now. Try to have a nice neutral neck and spine. Okay, no rounded shoulders. Nice neck looking just right down at the ground. Wide narrow press. Sticking with 20s. Mind is in your chest as we press and flex at the top. Let's finish off with that cardio. Center, jack, side, squat. For the win. Woo! This was a long one, wasn't it? Sure was, Trace. Hope our body's feeling it. Here we go. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your upper body work at circuit. Nice work, everyone. Drive for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash that like button. Whew. Let's start down on the ground here. All right, we're gonna go right into cat and cow, round through the upper shoulder blades. Try to separate those for a second here. Knees are about shoulder width apart. Excellent, now you're gonna exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. Now big inhale, round up through the upper shoulder blades. And drop the chest, lift the chin. One more deep breath in and round. Exhale and arch. And into child's pose, open up your knees, reach your hands out and drop your head to your mat. Sit back as low as you can here. Hold this position. One more, we're gonna draw the hands in and round up through the back. All right, now take your right hand and tuck it all the way under. And we'll stretch that rear delt and torso. Oh, my lanta. That feels good. Nice work, folks. It wasn't super strenuous. Upper body isn't often very strenuous for me, but it was good to focus on the muscles that needed focusing and hit them for three rounds. I do like that for hypertrophy and volume on the muscles. Switch sides and tuck it. <sighs> A lot of people ask me how to get rid of their bat wings, like the flab underneath their arms. And when I ask them 
how many tricep exercises they do in a week. It's often very few. It's definitely not isolated. There's no chest and tricep workout that they're working at or, you know, a tricep day. Tricep day would be hard. I would almost always pair that with something. But still, people just don't do enough exercises per muscle group that they're wanting to work on. Hand down, hand behind your head and reach up here. So it's the volume in a specific muscle group that's gonna help that muscle adapt and grow, right? Now, that's what's gonna increase lean muscle there, switch sides. The only thing that's gonna help you, well, the dominant thing that's going to help you uh, burn fat in that area, are you gonna say something? Is nutrition. So it's reducing your body fat percentage and you can't determine where you, you know, where body fat gets reduced on your body. You can't say, well, I'll have it on my calf, please and thank you. It, it's gonna reduce in one area faster than other areas and that's all dependent on your own specific body, your somatotype, so your body shape, how you were born, right? Those are all factors. Now, if you do reduce your overall body fat percentage, chances are the area that you're struggling with will also reduce at some point. For me, it was my inner thighs and I notice that if I carry any extra weight, that's where it goes, onto my quads, onto my legs, inner thighs. If I am leaner, if I carry a lower body fat percentage, that area is way tighter, stronger, more muscular looking. So the question then becomes, how lean do I wanna be and what's the cost? There's always a cost for that, right? Let's just go into butterfly stretch here for a second. There's a cost to being lean. What does it cost you? It costs you having to focus on your sleep. It costs you having to focus on your nutrition. It costs you having to focus on your training and your workouts and periodization and how you do those. Like all of those things are critical to helping you reach that target. And so it's, it's gotta be worth it to you, right? And for some of us, maybe it's not worth it to dial in those targets so dramatically. Maybe you're content with how you are now and just moving your body and getting exercise and increasing your heart rate and maybe that's good enough. And for some others, you might say, well, no, I really, really wanna see that definition in this place. Well, it's going to cost you more then. So you, you have to weigh the pros and cons, I think, and you have to, determine if it's worth it for you, your lifestyle, your relationships, because it can take a toll on those things too, because you have to be so dialed in for the lion's share of us. Some people will have an easier time, but for the majority of us, it's going to take diligent and concerted effort very, very regularly. Stretch through the chest, drop and tilt. I, uh, yeah, I, I will probably never see my abs again and I'm totally okay with that <laughs> because I did once in my 40s when I competed and how I had to eat and train and what I had to do was just too horrible for me. I did not love it and I didn't like the journey that I was on in my life. So it was too much for me uh, and it wasn't, it was a target I had for a time but it's not a target I have long term. Let's finish off with a IT band stretch. We're gonna reach up and we're gonna to go to one side here. All right, so there's the thought for today. What's your target? What's reasonable for you to reach and to sustain? I think that is the key because if you do something drastic, you might change for now, but you won't sustain it and it'll be harder to get to wherever you do wanna go next time as well. So, Slow and steady wins the race. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And choose things that you can do, I think, with 90 to 100% accuracy. Yes, challenge yourself, but also be realistic about where you wanna take your body, uh, your body composition goals and targets, and go from there. All right, thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next workout.